All right, so I have my sad little tomatoes in that rock wool, in the net pots, in the tub. So now, it, oh yeah, and the fertilizer stuff's in there. So now is the boring part of filling this up with 18 gallons of water. While we're at it, on a side note, my eggplant in our other tub, this was our, um, our self-watering tub. My self-watering tub eggplant has a bloom, like it wants to make an eggplant, and looky here, looky here. So one of the pumpkin seeds came up. So maybe we will have pumpkins by the time Halloween rolls around. And let's walk around, see what we got going on here. Oh, look, I got new babies. I got new babies. This is that milkweed I got the other day to feed the one. And apparently, I don't know if you can see him, there is a baby monarch again. So we're starting this all over. So just one, there's like all kinds of weird crappy looking things all over here. But I think, I think that's the only one we got. Well, good, we got another baby. Our second baby, our slower little girl, she's still cooking. She's still attached. So, um, can you see her? There she is. She's still trying to be a butterfly, and I forget what the hell we planted in this starter tray, but it's growing, so we're gonna have to do something with that soon. And our first guy, he's still doing his thing. He's still not clear, so he also is in the baking process. So no, no pretty butterflies yet, but they're on their way. And this is the milkweed plant, so that's what the flower looks like when it blooms and then the flower because of the colors attracts the monarchs to them the full-grown butterflies who come and hang out and lay eggs and then you know the whole process starts all over look what we learned <laughs> all right have a good sunday see you later